If you do this in your recruiting, you will set yourself apart from 99% of other recruits and absolutely dominate the process. And so if you don't know who I am, I'm Trent Lewis. I'm a former college quarterback and I run your first scholarship, but we help families get their first scholarship and more. And so we're recently about to bring on uh, another coach, um, kind of like me, that went through the recruiting process. He's currently playing D1 football um, and transferred up from a D2. And so he's got a really cool story. And we were talking uh, just about like the role and what he's going to be doing, all that stuff, and kind of talking about what we do. And so he was like, you know what? I just I just feel like so many people don't have the experience in recruiting that I had as well as the knowledge that I have. Um, and that, I feel like that really sets me apart. And I was like, you know what, dude? I agree with you. Not too many people really take this stuff as seriously um, as we did. And that really sets us apart and allows us to get the results that we do. And so... I'm recording this because of that, because if you can take it so seriously, and I'm not saying like the on the field stuff really matters, but you can have such a positive recruiting experience if you just take like seriously think about each step in the process and how can you make the most of it and how can you get to your ultimate goal of getting scholarships that you want. Um, and that means like every single little thing, how you talk to coaches, how you message coaches, what Twitter things you post, all that stuff, little, little things. How can you be creative in that and understand the process so fully that you make coaches want, want you? You get in front of as many coaches as possible. You build these awesome relationships. I feel like that's one of the things that I did. I would constantly think about like, ooh, what about this DM that I send? Like, how does that perform? How does that do? Like, ooh, that one got a good message back. Oh, interesting. Or this coach asked me that question. Okay, what can I do next time I get asked that question? Or, or what are some common questions that I'm getting asked? Or what are questions I can ask coaches that stand out a little bit more? Ooh, that got a good response from that coach. He really liked that. Now we have a really good relationship. Okay, I need to repeat that with other coaches. And so it's all this thinking. You may be like, dude, that, that's way too much. You don't need to do that recruiting. The thing is, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have any scholarships or you don't have scholarships that you want. So unless you're a four-star or five-star kid, this is the stuff that you should be doing to separate yourself from every other guy that looks like just like you. Because, again, there's 100,000-plus recruits out there. It's very competitive. You have to do the small things if you want to get the results that you want to get, if you want to have the opportunities that you want. Um, and so taking each little piece of the process so seriously is key. Um, it, it just sets you apart so much more. You have such a better understanding of things uh, that you get so much better results than people. And you have just such a better feel and control of the process. So make sure you're taking each part seriously that you're thinking about each thing and you're like, okay, what little tweak can I make? Just like, just in this, translate just to the field. Because on the field, I imagine you're not just like, oh, I'm gonna run fast, I'm gonna run this route. You're like, okay, well, hey, on this route, I ran this way, he got, this corner had this leverage, so I'm gonna do this and that. Um, and you start to see these patterns and you kind of start to adjust things. And then at first, like when you're in five, six years old or whenever you start playing football, you, like are making big adjustments. You know, you're, you're changing the way you run completely. But then as you get better and better, you're making these small little adjustments. Like you can feel, that was one of the things that I really like started to realize when I started to get older is like the adjustments I was making in my throwing motion when I throw or my footwork or stuff like that was like micro things. Like you could barely pick it up on a camera, but like I could feel Jurassic, like if, if it felt, the ball felt like it was coming off a little bit funny I could feel that and I knew exactly what to change. And the same thing goes for recruiting. You need to feel those micro little things that you can change to get the big results that you want. Because if you're off by one little degree, it matters a ton. Um, and same goes in your recruiting. So make sure you're focused on the little tiny details. Make sure you're thinking about it in a serious manner and thinking from the coach's perspective. It'll make a big difference. Um, I know it has for me. I know it has made a huge difference for a lot of other people that I went through the recruiting process with that and our recruits that we work with and families that we work with uh, because it just works because not many people take this stuff seriously. If you do, then you will take your recruiting to the next level and get the scholarships that you ultimately want. So hopefully this helps. Again, it was a short one today. If you like this and want more like it, be sure to subscribe for more. Peace.